iOS 10.1 is going to be iOS 10's biggest update yet. In this video, I wanted to make sure you guys have a good idea about what's in this update, what's new, and what's changed. So today, Beta 4 was released, but beyond that, I wanted to go ahead and review iOS 10 as a whole, show you guys everything about it and whether or not you should update. That's the main question of this video. So first things first, today's update is a very tiny one, really not much to say about this one, but iOS 10 as a whole, what's new inside of it? So first and foremost, I'm going to start with the smaller updates and work my way up to the big one. Of course, we all know that portrait mode is the big deal with this update. So smaller things that are available with this update. Well, in iOS 10.1, you guys can now disable motion and still have iMessage effects. So if we go into accessibility and then we go into reduce motion, if you do turn this on, you will now have an option to autoplay message effects. Previously, this was not available on older versions of iOS 10. What does it mean? You'll now be able to get an automatic effect with iMessage, even with reduced motion on. So if you don't have the regular system animations, it just fades in like that, you'll still get the option to autoplay the effects. Also in iOS 10.1, you now can replay effects. So if you miss them the first time, you want to experience them again, you'll have a little option to replay them in your iMessage. Now iOS 10 does include the latest iOS 10.0.3 changes, which uh, was released earlier today. So that means the cellular connectivity bug is now implemented in iOS 10.1. So beta 4 finally brings that to it. And just a couple smaller ones here. So on the older iPhone 5 and 5S, whenever you leave a folder, you'll get a pixelation effect on the pixels of the icons and the text itself, and it's a little annoying. So that's since been fixed in 10.1. Also in the same vein, the animations for folders on my device just aren't the same. Usually they're supposed to spring closed. If you click home button right away, they don't on my device. So on the newest iOS 10.1, that issue has been resolved. So the folders will spring closed unlike on my device, for some reason they just won't and I don't understand why, so that has been fixed. And the biggest change I wanted to bring to you guys is the speed improvement in terms of animations. It is abysmally slow on iOS 10.0.3 and if I compare with 10.1 on the right, take a look at this. Opening and closing applications is so much better. So at the same time, look at that. iOS 10.1 closes the application almost twice as fast. Launching the app switcher, one, two, almost twice as fast, one, two. It is so, so much more responsive. So if I even go into sub menus, I've noticed there's a massive delay on the older 10.0.2 and once again, and I'm at 10.0.3, so as you guys can see, one, two, so much more responsive. So iOS 10.1 is much more pleasant to use in a day-to-day -day usage. That lag is gone now. And it's not just on the older devices, on the newer ones as well. So iOS 10.1 is still more responsive. Now you will notice more of a difference on the iPhone 7s and 7 Pluses as they're not fully optimized for iOS 10, but 10.1 as a whole is much faster. And of course, open up your camera and you will see a new tab for the new portrait mode. Right now it's in beta, but with every beta, it has been getting better and better. So how does it work? Well, in real time, you can get a blur effect on your background. Now it doesn't actually do the same bokeh effect as a camera. It will not blur light the same way. I've noticed there's a difference in between photos you take with a DSLR and this. And of course, I mean, it's a smartphone but it does a fantastic job of giving you a very expensive look for your photos. So I've been using it for a couple weeks now, and I gotta say, I absolutely love it. It makes your photos look so much better. It's hard to believe that they were taken with a smartphone. Now, the limitations that I can see is it's only uh, within eight feet. So if you wanna get a picture of a bigger subject, you're not gonna be able to do that. But for the most part, this is for people as it is a portrait mode, and you can get some fantastic results with it. There is a weakness with it in a more darker environment. It gets very, very noisy and even more so than the standard camera. So take note, it's more useful in the daylight, but the results, man, I just, I just can't get over it. This is my favorite feature of the iPhone 7 Plus aside from the water resistance and home button. But yeah, it's amazing. So with the final release, it's gonna be improved. I noticed that in some of the photos, if you actually look around the edges of the blur, it's not fully realized. Like in some areas, there's gonna be a weird effect. And if you don't zoom in too close, for the most part, you won't notice much, but yeah, it's certainly there. Apple will be improving this with time, 
but for now, don't zoom in too close and you will be good. So portrait mode is the biggest update for iOS 10.1 exclusive to the 7 plus if you guys are on any other models you will enjoy a nice speed boost and other than that really not much else this is mainly for the 7 plus anyways guys that is my review of ios 10.1 we're going to be seeing an official release here within two weeks uh, really we're probably on the last gm right now with beta 4 should you update Yes, it is a bomb update for anybody, really. Speed and more camera improvements, camera features, really what's not to like. It's a fantastic update, so I say absolutely go for it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the update. Peace.